This video is brought to you by the Kawaii crew on my Patreon. Join my Patreon for early access and for custom art rewards. Hey everyone, it's your Kawaii boy Monty. Thank you for coming to be cute with me today. As requested by the one and only Cupcake Kamisama for my 300 subscriber special, we are going to be doing the Random Generator Chord Challenge, meaning that the items for my coordinate are picked at absolute random, at the absolute hands of fate themselves. We're going to be changing up a few things, however. So I'm not going to be doing numbers, I'm going to be doing something a lot more whimsical, which is... a wheel! <laughs> I'm going to be having a wheel spun to be choosing my items for the coordinate. The items themselves are also going to be slightly curated for two reasons. Number one is... Well, I I've been in the fashion for about almost a decade now, it's just going to be my tenth year. Um, and, and to be honest with you, uh, for reasons I should describe in another video, uh, my wardrobe's kind of small. I don't have a lot of options, uh, so I'm going to curate it, um, to just three items per, uh, clothing category. But I'm also going to be curating in them in a special way. There will be three options per item category for the cord. Category number one, signified in blue, are the staple items. These are uh, items, as it says right on the tin. These are really staple, easy items to coordinate in almost every way that uh, I have high confidence will work in the cord pretty much almost no matter what result comes out of them, so we'll see. Category number two, signified in red, are the fancier items. I say fancier in air quotes because I'm not very OTT, <laughs> but these are items that are a little more detailed, um, as I said, a little bit more OTT, and they do require some extra thought when coordinating them, but are otherwise, you know, they're lovely, they're wonderful. And category number three, which is going to be signified in yellow, is the wild card category. The wild card category mainly consists of one of two things. It's either an item in my wardrobe that I find particularly tricky to coordinate, or it's something a little random and is not actually a Lolita item at all. Just to add a little bit of potential chaos to the mix. Let's not stall. Let's go to the wheel. And instead of starting from the dress, I'm actually going to start down from the accessories and go upwards. Um, so like, I guess, smallest thing going upwards. I'm gonna end with a dress, basically, is what I'm gonna say. Just to, you know, sort of paint. <laughs> Uh, the the final blast of paint at the end of the painting, at the end of the picture. What the fuck am I even saying? The first item we are going to be finding out today is what I'm going to be doing for a statement accessory. I'm not going to do the thing where it's sort of like, you know, rolling for every single individual accessory type. Not to say that I don't have a lot. I have um more than I should be carrying, really. But I just find it kind of tedious and when I when I construct a cord personally, I really don't think um, that deeply about accessories anymore, as in like jewelry and stuff. Because I find for my purposes, it's a lot better to think about the construction of a cord when you think about the big picture. At least as far as coordinate photos go, if you put a lot of intent in like one tiny little ring in your coordinate, that's really nice for in person. But for a full coordinate photo in itself, it doesn't really add anything because it can be easily missed. I'm not going to be thinking about that. I'm going to be thinking about an accessory that stands out that will definitely be able to be seen in the coordinate photo. Let us spin the first wheel. What will be our statement accessory? <sighs> okay, okay, okay. The decor treatment. We're off to a great start. As you can likely tell by the name, the decor treatment is not just an accessory, it's the accessories. This entails taking all of my sweet leading jewelry and hair clips and putting as many of them as humanely possible on me. I do love these pieces and I think decor looks are super adorable, but it's definitely going to be a look for this one. So, we're off to the races. We have our statement accessory out of the way, and I'm already dreading where this is going. Please keep going this direction so that at least it's really, really funny. Next thing we're going to be doing is rolling for leg wear. Let's see what happens. Let's spin the wheel. Which leg wear of choice is going to be chosen? Simple, fancy, 
or not, it looks like it's going to be the simple black lace UTKs, my friends, okay? To be honest with you, I don't actually know the name of the brand that makes these socks. I just found them browsing around Spree now and Lolita Binner and bought a couple of pairs from them in different colors. They're definitely on the cheaper side, but hey, you can never have too many lacy socks. Going for headpieces now. What's going to be the headpiece? What's going to be the headpiece? Yes, darling beloved. I am very pleased that the wheel chose this piece because it's my current favorite headpiece at the moment. It's simple yet beautiful, can match with almost any dress, and it just has amazing details and quality, which you're bound to find with Summer Tales Boutique. We're moving on to some bigger stuff now. Let's go for the blouses. I don't actually have a lot of blouses, to be honest. So I need to get more this year. Um... Ooh, okay, so just barely winning by a smidge. Um, we're going with my glitter tail, um, uh, Peter Pan collar blouse in white. I do, unfortunately, have some beef with this blouse because I got it custom-sized from Glitter Tail, and it does not button all the way. Uh, so I only wear it under JSKs or when I'm binding. Despite that flaw, a, a white Peter Pan collar blouse like this one is a true staple for any sweet Lolita. You didn't think I forgot about shoes, did you? I did not forget about shoes. Oh, oh, ah, 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 oh my god. Is it by a smidge? <gasps> it's happened. This is the biggest wild card I think that I threw in there. We will see what happens. When I'm not dressing up in EGL, I'm often dressing up in Menhera or Yamikawai. So when I saw Koi release these shoes as a collab with Adi Harajuku, uh, I knew I had to get them as I've been looking for shoes just like that and in my size for a long time. I have coordinated them with Lolita once before, um, but I have a strong feeling that this time, uh, without my guidance, they are not gonna work. Now this is going to be the moment of truth happening here. We're going to be picking the main piece. I think all of these dresses are wonderful, um, but I did make the categories for a reason. Uh, there are some that I'm nervous about to see how it all works. Um, uh, actually, I'm nervous about all of these. Ooh, I don't, I don't know if any of these go well with black now that I think about it. But I guess we'll be finding out. Moment of truth. Who is going to be our main star? Our main piece? Oh, God. So, I have a history with this dress, an actually very tight and very sentimental and important history that is definitely worthy of its own video, one I'm thinking about doing come this summer. However, this piece is the true black sheep of my wardrobe, as I mostly have blacks, whites, reds, and pinks, and in comes an OP in one of the strangest shades of lavender, <laughs> thus making this dress one of the most difficult to coordinate out of my entire wardrobe. This one is going to be tough. But of course, with all of the items picked out, um, let's get me dressed, shall we? I don't know about this one, guys. Surprising no one, this court is a disaster. Now, if you're a veteran Lolita, why it's awful should be extremely obvious to you. But to just sort of turn this into an educational moment, I'm gonna break down why I personally think this cord just doesn't work. We're gonna talk about the elephant in the room, the whole entire bottom half of the cord. First off is the socks, which while there's nothing wrong with their design, having all of the black in the cord to be in the legs means that there's just no color balance. There's no distribution of black anywhere else in the outfit, so it's pretty much destined to fail. Number two is the shoes. Are they cute? Well, yeah, of course they are. Come on, they're pink platforms. But aesthetically speaking, they're a lot edgier and rougher than the rest of the outfit. Uh, when speaking from a construction point of view, this cord has a lot of traditional Lolita elements of lace and ruffles, and that just clashes with the rougher aesthetic these platforms with spikes have. When you're cording items together, it's important not to just think about color, but also to think about the overall aesthetic and construction of them to see if everything matches. Even if a coordinate is all the same color, it can still look off-putting if all of the items involved don't have matching aesthetics. Lastly, while I think this is less egregious, I feel like tacking on lots of hairpins when wearing a head bow of this size is just kind of a waste. 
The presence of one cramps the other one's style and vice versa. When constructing a cord, make sure to think about how each item takes up space. And if you find that one of your items is very domineering, don't try to smother it or fight it. Just let it shine as it is. Other than that, this cord is actually not too bad from the knees up in my opinion. It kind of reminds me of how Sweet Lolita looked in the late 2000s when prints were just hitting the scene, but the items coordinated with printed dresses were still really simple. I kind of actually like it a lot. So while I wouldn't wear this exact cord again, this does give me some ideas to coordinate this dress in a new direction, so success. Thank you again for 300 subscribers. I still have plenty of video ideas to knock out, so it would be amazing to see even more. Let me know what you think of this cord in the comments, and if you haven't done this yet, I recommend trying it yourself. I'd like to, of course, give a big thanks to those supporting me on Patreon, especially my top tier chosen one patrons, Amelia Peterson, LaBelle Romley, Link you, Mary Magdal, and Mr. Steve. This has been Monty, your cowboy boy, and remember that every day is a great day to upload yourself and others. Bye!